Hi, I'm Todd with Xtang, and today we're installing the Xtang Encore on a 2009 Ford F-150 with a six and a half foot bed. When you unload your Xtang Encore out of the box, you'll find two drain rails, the cover, drain tubes, six clamps, of course the instruction book, and you may find some supplemental foam seal that may be used at the cab rail. We'll discuss that a little bit later if it's necessary. The Encore is very easy to install. All you'll need is a half inch socket and a three quarter inch hole saw. In instances where aftermarket or OE accessories have been installed, you may need to make some preparations or modifications to the vehicle's bed for a proper installation of the X-Tang Encore. In this instance, the Ford F-150 comes installed with plastic bed caps. The bed wall is bare. To compensate, we've provided a foam seal to build a level plane for the Encore to rest upon. If your vehicle has open bed pocket holes, we do have stake pocket hole covers that you'll want to install before the side rails are installed. Once you've made all your modifications and preparations are completed, you're ready to install the Encore side rails. This is a very crucial part of the installation. The side rails are going to dictate where the cover sits along the vehicle's bed. You'll want to space the side rails one inch back from the vehicle's metal cab wall edge. I've placed a couple pieces of masking tape for my mark. The clamp is one inch wide. When a bed liner is not present, you can flush the rail up to the clamp and use that as your starting point. Next, you'll want to identify the correct side rail for the installation. The drain tubes will always be positioned at the front of the vehicle's bed. Your clamps should be positioned underneath the first pin, between the second and third pin, and approximately one inch forward from the rear end of the side rail. At this point, it is helpful to have a second set of hands to hold the rail steady and flush to the vehicle's side rail. Again, you'll be placing your clamp underneath the first pin, we found that in most cases, the lower notch is all you'll need to use when installing the Encore cover. Place the clamps so the teeth engage the side rail. And make sure your partner is holding the side rail tight against the vehicle. Make sure that we're following any crown that you may find on your truck. Second clamp, again, you'll want to place between the second and third pin. The final clamp will be positioned one inch forward from the end of the Encore side rail. We've gone back and completed our adjustments to the side rail. Specifically, we've adjusted the clamp placement to encourage a level seat along the vehicle's bed. There are teeth installed along the side rail and teeth incorporated into the clamp as well. The higher the clamp sits under the side rail, the more you'll see the rail pitch upward. The lower the clamp sits on the teeth in the side rail, the more you will find that the side rail pitches down into the bed. The adjustment I've made in this case to keep it from rising upward is to seat the clamp on the lower teeth of the Encore side rail. Let's take a quick look at our properly installed driver side rail. We're spaced one inch back from the metal cab wall edge. Our rails are pitched level. And our clamps are positioned underneath the first pin, in between the second and third pin, and approximately one inch away from the rear of the side rail. Now let's install the passenger side. We have our passenger side rail. We're going to place it one inch back from the cab wall. Place your clamp underneath the first pin. Second clamp between the second and third pin. And finally the rear clamp, approximately one inch forward from the end of the side rail. We'll take a step back, make sure we're level, and make any needed adjustments. To drain any moisture or water that's collected in the side rails, we need to attach a drain tube to the front of the Encore side rail. Simply attach the tube and position it to run out of the bed. In most cases, you'll find a knockout plug. In this case, the F-150 has it in the lower part of the vehicle's bed. We're going to take this out. 
we'll take a three quarter inch hole saw, drill the knockout plug, and secure the tube into that hole. Once your side rails are installed and you're certain they're spaced evenly one inch back from the metal edge of the cab wall, they're placed level, and all your clamps are tight, you're ready to install the cover portion of the Encore. When you place the Encore onto the side rails, you want to position the cover over the third pin. Release your clamps that secure the cover when stowed, and you'll rotate this cleat in between the narrow set pins. This will help align the cover, and at this point, you want to release the lock so that there's no interference with the latch pins. Rotate the cover forward. Make sure you're properly aligned on both sides and that you've engaged with the pin. At this point, you can unfold. Allow this to engage the rear portion of the side rails. When side rails are installed properly and completely level, it will allow our rear latch mechanism to engage freely with the underside of our side rail. The Encore is a very convenient cover. It allows you to fold all the way open, again, the majority of your bed. One thing that you want to be mindful of, you can only operate the Encore folded like this and completely stowed. or completely covering the bed. While the Encore does give you access to the first third of the bed, you may not travel like this. The forward panel always needs to be secured. 